Okay, waiting to see uh, when Marv's gonna get back here, and uh, if he doesn't get back here in a few minutes, I guess, uh, we're gonna end up loading the semi that I brought this morning. Uh, I brought that because Dad wanted me to possibly haul today. Uh, because Marv didn't think he was going to be able to keep up with us. His son is also running uh, one of the tandems also, so that's good. But, uh, which I was unexpected. I don't think Marv knew his son was going to be here today, so that's good. Um, so I might not have to haul, which I prefer not to, because I'd rather run grain cart than haul the Malden. Finishing up this 41-acre field that Dad was working on yesterday evening. Uh, I'm full right now. I'm just waiting for Marv. To pull around with the truck and I'll fill him and then he'll head off to Malden. Got Marv loaded there. He brought another one over. Dad's full. I'm about two thirds, I would say. Half to two thirds. I'll get that tandem full over there, I'm guessing. And uh, or fill him unless Dad wants to dump first. And uh, we'll wrap this field up move over onto this next one right across from the road on the north side here and uh, work our way all the way over to those green bins and probably keep going all the way up to Wanata then. Yeah, that long ogre does come in handy. Okay, we just got done with this field. Dad's dumping on the tandem right now to finish filling it. And uh, we're gonna go over the combine real quick. And, uh, cause I guess Dad wants to do a couple of things to it real quick before we move across the road. And uh, I'm not entirely sure how many acres there are in that strip from here to Monata. I know there's a few splits out there, a couple of fields. Um, even though it's one field, they have a couple of splits out here, so I'm not entirely sure um, how all the splits work, but we'll figure it out and uh, go from there. Not gonna be hay there, gonna be wheat. Yep. Well, what are you up to today? This broke open here on the south side here on uh, the north side of the road here and uh, dad's gonna pick from this side just because of the way the corn's down and uh, we'll figure out here after this round how we're gonna dump if we're gonna need to dump every round or depending on how good the corn is I don't know
just getting it all figured out on dumping on uh, the go here, getting the auto steer dialed in. I have it set on uh, 30 foot swath tracking and uh, pretty much got it dialed in perfectly so I can dump either way. Uh, with the corn head I can dump uh, with a 30 foot swath track uh, either direction. I believe I can do that with the grain head. I just, I didn't have enough time really to play with it too much. Uh, because we didn't have too many spots where we were dumping on the go uh, in longer spots where I could play with it some. But I imagine if I set it to 34 and a half swath tracking like what we have set on the, uh, on the grain head, um, I imagine I could dump either way uh, with a grain head then. But I was just working on getting it dialed in and with 30 foot swath tracking it's perfect. So. Uh, for those of you curious, 26 foot auger, 12 row corn head on a, a series combine, 30 foot swap tracking for the green cart auto steer then. Just trying to get it all figured out, dumping on the road there. It's not the easiest just because of the way that road or that road ditch is. You can't really get in and out of there. Someday it would be cool to have that leveled off so you can just pull in and out anywhere in the field there along the road. But for now, uh, there's a little entrance over there. Uh, that needs to be widened out just a little bit and uh, Otherwise I can get in and out of there with the auger folded up or unfolded The reason why I keep the auger unfolded all the time is because I don't want the auger getting out of time and if the auger gets out of time then I got to unfold the auger partially and spin that bottom auger a little bit Just one like a couple rotations and I'll get back in time but in order to do that, I got to auger out like a pile of corn and I don't want to uh, have to pile, uh, auger out a pile or a tiny little pile of corn, I should say. So uh, just keep it folded up the longest I can. It would be nice though to have a larger cart. I mean, right now we are, we can hold about a thousand bushel right at or just under a thousand with this cart with the extensions. Personally, like I've been saying, 1300 bushel, lower profile design, one that we're not going to have issues unfolding and folding the auger on timing wise, because I know the newer ones, you don't have to really worry about the timing on that because they're pretty much always timed. Um, and also tracks. Tracks would be awesome. I understand that, you know, roading a cart um, is going to be a little bit wear, like, cause a little bit more wear on the tracks than what tires normally do because we've never had really an issue with tires at all on the cart but uh, as far as wear goes but as far as compaction goes with a 1300 bushel cart I feel that would be ideal to have tracks on it and yes the 8530 can handle a 1300 bushel cart I know everybody asks me that yes it can handle it If you do want us to get a bigger green card someday, be sure to subscribe down below because every subscription uh, contributes towards the channel and in return uh, the YouTube channel contributes to the farm. So be sure to subscribe. Dad's going to go ahead and open up this part right here between the farm and the house here. And uh, I'm waiting on a truck to get back. Looks like one might have just rolled up. But I'll go ahead and wait here to help Dad open this part up here. And uh, I don't know, I think I can finally eat solid food after these wisdom teeth have finally been out for a few days. I'm gonna try eating some chips here and see what I can do. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to keep living off of pudding. Wind up and waiting. Combine sitting down there also full. I'm full. Hopefully we'll get more trucks here soon. I still have about six seven hundred ish bushel left on the cart yet uh, i'm not going to pull back out in the field just to turn around and pull back out in the road and plus that entrance right there isn't quite wide enough for the cart i've been going through there when i'm empty just because there is a little bit of a dip that that left tire goes down into into the ditch a little bit but not with this much weight i'm not going to go through there if i had tracks i would go through that but not with this much weight on the tires. I mean, that that's a little too hard on the cart, and I really don't want to see something bad happen. So 
safer just to sit out on the road here. Yes, it is a little bit of a decently traveled road here because it is one of the main drags in the town here. But what are you going to do? We'll go ahead and give Marv and his son here a little bit of a break and give him a little bit of a breather here and we'll take a break for just a little bit here and uh, because we kind of got ahead of them. Well, that mainly just because they had a flat tire on one of the tandems. So we'll go ahead and take a little bit of a break here and kind of get it so that we're all caught up and on the same page and uh, hit it hard again here and we're actually we can actually do pretty good with them with them running all three and uh i mean if we had grandpa over here once he finishes drilling wheat it would help out a lot more but honestly they can keep up and do a really good job of keeping up and uh we're doing pretty good with just the three tandems so that's that's good so that's gonna go over there by the green bins i'm gonna go ahead and open that up because i told dad that it'd probably be best uh, to go ahead and load trucks back there by the by the green bins because there's really no lane To get in the field between this house and the farm. I don't know how much we're gonna get done I imagine we'll get up to the farm. I'm not entirely sure how far Past the farm we will get but I imagine we will get up to the farm But I guess it just all depends on one. I don't know how long Malden's open and two if any of this is gonna go in the bin or if it's all going in the elevator right now. Well, we just got done with this strip here behind the house and uh, I'll have to ask dad and find out if they got a truck moved up there or not. They were I guess gonna move a truck or have a truck parked up there by the green bin since for about oh about three loads or so we had uh, a couple of trucks parked back over there by the house because that worked out good because it was just a straight shot out but uh from here on over we're gonna do everything here by the farm so hopefully they've got a truck somewhere back there i can't tell if they do or not looks like norm is just there in front of the combine He'll probably let dad know or dad looked like he was on the phone he might have been on the phone with uh marv so i'll find out here shortly and eventually get this little behemoth dumped i know it's going to be asked uh what the yield is uh <laughs> i'm not going to say what the yield is again out of respect to marvin norm uh i do not say any of their yields because out of respect to them nobody really needs to know uh, what their crops are yielding so uh, all I can say is that it's good uh, moisture 17-18% uh, um, I don't even think we have corn ourselves down to this this was uh, some of the first corn they planted and actually some of the first corn in the area to be planted I think this was planted second or third week of april don't quote me on that i think but there's just a few spots like this where you have down corn in here but it's nothing too bad it wasn't this isn't as bad as what it was back over that way but uh we're powering through it it's no big deal uh we don't really need to fly through here anyways since there's only three tandems running today. We don't have any of our trucks running. Again, we do have our truck over there. Grandpa's getting along a little slow over there on the 40 on the corner drilling that wheat. I mean, I wouldn't blame it either because, I don't know, uh, no-till drill in a conventionally tilled field doesn't really make the best uh, situation for planting. But it is what it is. So he's getting along okay. Wish he could go faster though, I know, but no big deal. Uh, but eventually once he gets done with that, he'll get over here and haul, but I'm thinking by the time he gets done Malden's gonna be closed because I don't think they're gonna run late hours or I don't even know really what their hours are. I think it's Probably till six I'm guessing. I don't know, but we'll find out and uh, I don't know again if this is all going to the elevator or uh, If we're gonna put some in the bin here I, I won't I don't know 
Usually the green car driver is the last to know. Truck coming in. driving this one. Not without a lesson. Yeah, that one's loaded heavy. his son for a ride in the combine so that's cool there's about uh, about a round left i think yeah one round corn's doing good again like i said not saying yield out of respect to marvin norm so uh we'll get this half i guess you could say done tonight uh there's still a little bit left on this split that goes over a little ways till we get up to the town ground again and then I think there's another split on the back side of that town ground, or on the north side of that, sorry. And then there's that field over there that we still have to do yet of Marv's, and a field right across on the east side of the road here of Marv's, which I don't know, again, what all goes in the bin, what goes to the elevator, I don't know. Like I said, I'm usually the last to know because I'm just a cart driver most of the time and uh, occasionally the truck driver. Okay, so I just took Grandpa down to the semi. He made it over here after finally getting done drilling that wheat. He was only able to go about four mile an hour, which, man, that would suck. I would, I feel for him on that one. I wouldn't want to do that either. But uh, we're going to go ahead and he's going to bring the semi over and go back there also where the combine is. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this north half. And uh, that way we got it opened up and ready to go for tomorrow. Cart's full. Uh, combine looks like dad got that unloaded there. And uh, I'll go ahead and fill that other tandem and fill uh, whatever I can on the semi and help dad open that up and get the black truck full and probably fill everything up and call her quits for tonight. efficient way to do it but it still looks pretty cool
wait to go pick corn over at the river with this setup. So we'll go ahead and pick until the black truck's full. Once I get the green cart full, we'll go ahead and call it quits. And uh, we're not going to pick the, uh, the combine full because really there's no reason to have uh, the grain tank full in the combine since everything's going to be full in the morning. Though.